Hey guys, this is Junior Trader, and in this morning update, let's take a look at QQQ, SPY, Tesla, NVIDIA, and let's also pick Apple, Microsoft, and Amazon. Let's take a look at real quick on all these stocks, and let's see what's been happening. Well, QQQ, well, guys, it's just not really being liked by the market. The NASDAQ index is falling. Look at it. Like yesterday, you know, we started selling off in this mode and today we even, you know, we opened very low, like we gapped down and we are still struggling at one of our, well, we are at one of our important levels. So let's see if this level still holds the support. Technically, this is a huge gap, like $4 gap on it that let's see if QQQ fills it by the end of the day, but this is not looking good. Like this is, well, it's bearish, QQQ is bearish, it's in the downtrend. Now, how far will it keep selling off? Well. Sure, it has a room to come down to $354, and if that breaks, $347 and all the way down to 200 days moving average is very high possibility that it might come down and test itself over there. Now, if I go to the hourly interval on QQQ, you can see that market didn't even give any time to anyone to come back down or to play it to the downside in, during the regular market open. It was already players are big players were already selling off in the pre-market here right and it just kept slipping and slipping and slipping it's below 20 250 hours moving average guys it is complete bearish mode rsi is oversold there's potential bounce that may come back to the 20 hours moving average no guarantee though it's always very tough to trade the reversals but rsi is oversold just saying so keep that in mind because it's very oversold on hourly interval okay all right let's take a look at spy spy is also not looking any great gap down massive like just around one of our well it opened below one of our levels three four hundred and thirty six and which completely then became a resistance on it and then we are heading down to 433 now if we break this level there's a huge room to come down to 423 which is around also 200 days moving average spy all in all is bearish now you will find similar setting as how we found in qqq is that rsi oversold and the oops sorry guys yeah the selling already happened in the in the pre-market right so yeah you can see that selling already happened in the pre-market so this what it leads to giving us a problem <laughs> well when i say a problem i mean um po potentially sure some cool off may happen but it's always very tough you have to always wait for the break of one of the critical levels to play the cool off to the upside because just our just rely rsi can keep selling off right it was selling off like it was oversold here as well but back then the spy was at 438 right so that doesn't really change anything you have to see if a green candle closes above one of the important levels that i have on my chart now if this level indicator if you are interested in which is junior junior trader universal indicator please feel free to join the trading bots membership via the join button down below and i'll give you the access to it send me an email um, otherwise, I'll not know how to contact you. So send me an email once you join the membership and I'll get you the access to the Discord and all of this um, stuff, stuff for um, this uh, indicator as well. There's a news nine minutes ago that says US stocks price near level for mechanical selling. Now, with mechanical selling, what they, what they mean is that the instruments that, you know, automated trading system that may then just start selling off the market. So, um, all right. This is with SPY guys, let's start taking a look at individual stocks and I want to wrap this up video as a shorter video with as much value as I can provide in it. So let's jump into Tesla. Tesla, we gapped lower now that pump scheme again, they were trying to pump the stock using Dojo, their supercomputer, it's a $400 target. They, they pumped up the stock price, but then it's still, you know, because they wanted to get they want to make their money right the analysts now now we are at a critical zone sure we filled this gap right the gap over here we are at a critical zone of just 20 and 50 days moving average if we break below it it has become full-on bearish you can you can start trading to the next level of 243 and then after that i would say you know um, let me actually with tesla guys i want to adjust my indicator a little bit because 
this thing, we don't need to be this far back on Tesla. Yeah, you can adjust these settings, guys. Yeah. So I just because you can adjust based on how important recent levels you want to see. Now, if we come down to you know, if we break 20 and 50 days moving average, as I said, there's a room to come down to $240 level. There's an overhead resistance now at $261. Taking a look at hourly interval on Tesla, uh, we are in a full board, full board, <laughs> full mode bearish mode. Um, so we have broken below 200 hours moving average. We are below 20 and 50 hours moving average. And sure, some bounce is coming, but we have an overhead resistance at level of 260 and um, 200 hours moving average. Now, this is what I call with the cool off, you can trade with the RSI oversold. So we had RSI oversold. You saw one green candle come up, broke our one of our levels, and then you start trading the cool off to the upside. Now, how long will this cool off go? It's very tough to trade reversals, guys. So you have to be very careful. You have to look on the uh, minute interval or five minutes interval, you can say, as well, like how much is the strength in the stock? So. For the day, if you are seeing that, okay, look at it, how well it's it's holding our levels on the intraday time frame. And when you see these levels starts holding, you just try to play the, you know, bounce above the VWAP area, the blue line. When I say blue line, this moving blue line here. And, but yeah, you can see now there's an overhead resistance, like it's having a tough time to go over it, but it's gonna stay choppy today. That's what I'm feeling with Tesla, all right? Let's now jump into guys um, NVIDIA. Oh, NVIDIA $415. Um, it is it filled the gap that it created today. It was very weak. It has overhead resistance 419 now. The room it can come down to is 402 or $403 now. Now let's jump to the hourly interval in NVIDIA. NVIDIA money is coming out, guys. As I have been saying, Jensen Huang sold all of it, most of it. And then, you know, analysts bumped it up, they sold it off, they made their money. It's bleeding cash. They wanted retailers to buy from them, which they always succeed in doing by creating the hype in the market. Um, guys, so as I said, we have still overhead resistance acting at $416. I have my NVIDIA short position open, uh, just mentioning now. If we break 411, next level come down to 403. Um, again, it's just RSI oversold cool off mode is happening, but you just never know how long cool off will continue. There's a possibility that in during the e afternoon hours in the market, market may sell off. Um, yeah. All right. Let's take a look at Apple real quick. Um, and I'm trying to squeeze everything in this video in next for in within 10 minutes. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Most the most value in short amount of time. All right, guys. So. Um, with Apple, sure, we are seeing some green today. Apple is holding a good support at $173 level. We have to say that. Um, here we go, this level. Now, let's take a look at, well, it's bearish on the daily level, swing bearish. It's on the hourly interval as well. It's bearish below 20 and 50 and 200 hours moving average. And sure, this cool off is happening and now you know how to trade the cool off. It's found support at one of our level and it's a double stacked level. So it's a good support because two lines are double stacked on it. Um, that's how my indicator also, you know, do a lot of things. It's self-adaptive as well. It just the levels automatically. All right. So above we, RSI was oversold. We got a green candle and then we buy into the cool off, but it's a cool off because you can see it's just rejecting at 20 hours moving average still. So it's still bearish. Watch the level of 173 if it acts, keeps acting as a support by stay, staying, looks like choppy in this range, um, right now, Apple. All right, let's take a look at Microsoft and then we'll wrap it up with Amazon. All right, Microsoft today is finding some bounce uh, between our range of 311 to 327. The, the range, it is, be well, swing bearish, at least can cool off to 200 days moving average. Now, if we take a look at hourly interval on Microsoft, yeah, I already talked about RSI stuff, how to look at it, not gonna repeat myself. Um, cool off mode, sure, it's a good green candle, so there's a possibility for a few days this might as stay choppy or make some upside, but the level you need to be watching is if it start closing above 20 hours moving average again, it will start using this as a support to potentially test 200 hours moving average again up there. All right, this is with uh, Microsoft guys. Final stock for the video is Amazon for the morning update. Amazon, the reason I want to cover is that it gapped down and uh, look at it. It just 
turned itself around completely. It is now below 20 and 50 uh, hours, sorry, days moving average. Finding support at one of our levels, 130. But if this breaks, then we can potentially come down to 126. And yeah, that's the next level to watch for. It is not bullish in any sense or fashion. Um, but again, RSI is oversold. Cool off. You already know how to trade the cool off. I gave you the everything I described. Um, if it breaks the 3 of 130, downside 128. If cool off starts happening, watch the break of 131. But you want to see a green candle close above those levels. Not like this candle with a failed above level close because technically it did not break the level. It did not close above the level, right? So you have to see one green candle close above the level if you want to trade the cool off with the RSI oversold, okay? All right, guys, this is all for this video. I hope you found it helpful and valuable. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video in the afternoons. Take care, guys. Bye.